Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing great. You welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's class, there is this beautiful sleeve. I want to teach you guys. It's like a mermaid uh, long sleeve. It's very very easy. So what you're going to do is um, the first thing you do is just get out the length, the length of the sleeve. You know, it's going to be a floating sleeve. It's going to be very very long so depending on how long you want yours so if you are cutting for a length of um maybe the dress length is going to be around 64 then you can decide to make the sleeve maybe like 70 inches so that it's spread out and it's to float so it depends on your uh depend on the length you want so assuming this is a uh, this is the fabric you want to use you know the wider the fabric the more it will flow on the floor that is the sleeve so let's assume you are using a a crepe material like this or maybe a lace material all you need to do is just get the length you don't have to cut anything out of the wideness you are making use of the whole wideness We are making use of the whole wideness. You know, this is the size of this uh, fabric. This is the size of this fabric. So all you need to do is... um. So you know definitely if you're using a crepe material you know crepe is wider than this normally you know i've already cut out of this fabric this is kind of a small fabric so if you're using a crepe you are using the whole wideness just fold into two then get your desired length either 70 75 or 80 inches depends on how you want it just like i said the wider this place is the more the sleeve will float on the on the floor so now let's assume this is the full length of the sleeve that I'm using so what you do now is um so what you do now is from this point just measure um, five inches from this point just measure five inches then on that five inches measure seven inches yeah five inches so seven inches this seven inches is for the armhole for the armhole this seven inches is for the armhole so from this point from this seven inches you are going to open up to this place so let's just cut from this point so you are just going to open You know the wider you know if as assuming this place is wider now so that means here will go wide it's going to expand to the other side so that is the idea so this down part you just curve you curve a little bit you don't leave it straight you curve it at the down part so all you need to do now is from this point to this point you are going to sew it then from this point you measure you measure about nine inches from this point to this point you measure about nine or probably eight inches just notch you sew from here to here then you sew from here to here so let me join it and show you what it, it will look like so this is it i've already sewed from here to here then from this place to this place you can just decide to notch you notch a little bit so what you do now is um you turn it like this you turn it this way 
So if it is a list material, like all this list material, you don't necessarily have to do anything here. But if you like, it's your choice. You can still decide to aim it. You can still decide to aim this place as if you like. And the down parts, but if you're using a lace material, I don't think that will be necessary. So now, this is where you are going to attach to the armhole. You know, the dress, maybe if you want to attach it to like a tube, a tube dress, you know, at the armpit side. So that is where you are going to just tag this. You're just going to tag it. So by the time the person uh, put it on and put the hands here, so this one will hang uh, on the shoulder. It will hang on the shoulder like this. So it's as simple as that. So if you put it on, the hand will just go through here. Then this place, you know, is going to be very, very long. So it's going to spread. It's going to spread everywhere. So it's just as simple as that. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. See you guys next time.